Welcome to Chain Letters, the show where you make money by making words. And we've got three lovely contestants, each of whom is hoping to win that jackpot worth £1,000. What a surprise, they'd say. Let's meet our three contestants. So first of all, we've got Harry. Yes. Harry, tell us about yourself, mate. Well, I'm Harry Stanley from Birmingham. I'm an actor and a band leader. And during my career as a band leader, I've accompanied some pretty strange acts. Oh, yeah, like me, you mean. <laughs> what's, the, what's the strangest act you've ever backed, Harry? Well, the strangest act was a stripper. She was known as Miss Exotica, the girl with a secret. Miss Exotica, the girl with a secret? I mean, with was she secret? terrific? I mean, Oh, she was superb. I couldn't take my eyes off her all week. And did, you, did you... Do you mind? She was fantastic. Was she great? But, I mean, did you ever find out what the secret was? Yes. At the end of the week, I shared a dressing room with her, and I found out what the secret was. She was a man. I don't think we want to know anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Stanley. Good luck, Harry. <laughs> and now we have lovely Sandy. Sandy, tell us about yourself. I'm Sandy Moon from Bexley Heath in Kent. Married to Peter. Mm -hmm. Got a little boy, James Five. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably the world's worst cook. Nah, come on, I don't believe yep. you. Terrible. Whenever I have a dinner party, I cook three meals, and they have the one that turns out the best. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the other two? Oh, well, my husband has to treat those. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Moon. Good luck. <laughs> and we have David. David, tell us about yourself, mate. Yes, I'm David St. John, originally from Southampton, now live near Birmingham. I uh, work the clubs as an entertainer, doing gags, impressions, etc. Got a beautiful Greek wife called Maria. Been married 12 years and just had our first baby at last. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's absolutely lovely, is it? Can, I just, can I just have a quick message to her, would you mind? Oh, all right. This is my daughter. Would you mind? You want, you want to message I'm your very daughter? Proud, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right then. Which camera, anyway? I'm sorry about this. Hang I'm on. Well, how about going down to Colin on one there? That's Colin, right? Go on then. Yeah. Uh, glug, 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 <laughs> After all that, ladies and gentlemen, David St. John. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to all three of our contestants. Now, Wordsworth is showing them four hidden words. We want them to pick just one, and then they've got 45 seconds to make the longest chain they can by changing one letter at a time. No plurals, no proper nouns. All the words must be in the dictionary, but be careful because you mustn't change the same letter twice in a row. We want them to change the letter, say the word, and spell it. That's simple, isn't it? Good. Harry, you're going to begin. You've got four boxes to choose from. One, two, three, or four. Which one? Well, I'll take number one. You're going to go for one, Harry. Hand, H-A-N-D. You've got 45 seconds, Harry, to make the longest chain you can, starting now. Change the H to a W, making it wand. Spell it. W-A-N-D, sorry. W-A-N-D. Um, change the A to an E, making it wend. Spell it. W-A-N-D. Change the W to an M, making it mend, M-E-N-D. Change the change the M to an S, making it send S E N D. No, you can't do that. The same letter twice in a row. Quick, sorry, Harry, going. sorry. Change the change the D to an S, mens. No, no plurals. No. Oh, never mind. Well done, Harry. I mean, I bet you're one of the guys at home that sit there and say, go on, 10 T N D, go on, T A D, yeah, yeah. That's it, it looks pretty easy. And when you're up here... Ooh, wow. <laughs> still, you did really well, Harry. You got three right, 15 pounds. Well done, Harry. <laughs> it's tough to begin a show like this, so Harry did quite well there. But, Sandy, you know that you've got three to beat and you've got three boxes to choose from. Which one would you like? I'll have number three, please. Number three? Is it the easy one? It's oh. Ness. That means a headland, okay, like Loch Ness, it means the headland. N-E-S-S, you've got 45 seconds, Sandra. Sandy, I beg your pardon. Starting now. Change the S to a T, N-E-S-T, nest. Change the, oh God, um, <laughs> change the N to a B, B-E-S-T, best. Change the E to an O, B-O-S-T, boast. No such word, oh. don't worry, keep going. Um, 
Change the F to an N, B, E, N, T, Bent. Change the V, B to a V, V, E, N, T, Bent. Change the T to a D, V, E, N, D, Bend. Change the V to a T, T, E, N, D, Tend. Change the D to a T, T, E, N, T, Tent. Change the E to an I, T, I, N, T, Tint. Change the T to an L, L, I, N, T, Lint. Change the T to an E, L, I, N, E, Line. Change the L to an M, M, I, N, E, Mine. <laughs> Well done! You've been practicing, haven't you? Just a little bit, with my mum. With your mum, I tell you what, she turned you up trump says. What a score! 11 words right, 55 pounds! Well done, sir! <laughs> Uh, oh, follow that. Bad luck, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Uh, tough to follow, 11. And you've only got two boxes to choose from, David. Which one would you like? I'll go for number four. Number four. The word is oath. Oh, yeah. O-A-T-H. Good night. <laughs> David, you've got 45 seconds to make the longest chain you can, starting now. Change the O to a B, making bat. B-A-T-H. Change the H to an S, making bats. B-A-T-S. Make, change the A to an I, making bits, B-I-T-S. Change the T to an N, making bins, B-I-N-S. Change the B to a, a D, making dins. Change the, change the O to a, change the I to an O, making dons, D-O-N-S. Change, change the N to a G, making dogs, D-O-G-S. Change the D to an L, making logs, L-O-G-S. Change the O to an A, making lags, L-A-G-S. Well done! <laughs> well, we say no plural, of course, no plurals, but of course you can have them as verbs. He lags behind, or you, he dogs somebody, or he dons an outfit. I was so lagging behind, so I changed you, <laughs> you did very well there. Nine right, 45 pounds. Well done, David. Thank you. Well, now, Harry, not, not the hottest, fastest starts, but there's a long way to go. You're on 15 pounds. On 45 pounds, we've got David St. John, but out in the lead on 55 pounds, we've got lovely Sandy Moon. <laughs> now, Sandy, they're going to be hot on your tail right now because it's the booby trap round, yes? There are four words for you to choose from. Which one would you like? Cade, sold, barb, or rook? Um, rook, please. Rook, I think that's a very sensible word to choose. Thank you. Which, which letter would you like to change? R. The R, I'm not surprised. Now, David and Harry, we now know what letter Sandy is going to change. She's got a lot of options because she can change that to any letter she likes, and as long as she comes up with a word that neither of you predict, she gets the ten pounds. However, if you can get into Sandy's mind and work out what letter she's going to change it to, you get the money. You've got 10 seconds, starting now. <laughs> right. Sandy, we know the traps that have been set for you by Harry and David. They're out to try and nick the money and you're out to try and keep it. For £10, Sandy, come up with a word that neither David or Harry have predicted. I'll try... A H. To? Hook. H-double-O-K. And she's done it. Well done. <laughs> Look at Harry and David, all smiles, and really they're saying, go on, go on, go for my word. OK, now, you've got £10. The choice is yours. You can either keep the £10, or you can try again. You've got lots of options there. What would you like to do? I'll try again. Good girl. Well done. So this is for £20, and this will really increase your lead if you can avoid the words that David and Harry have put out. For £20, change the H. I'll change it to a T for took. T double OK? She's done it again! <laughs> well, you took your time over it, but it made you worth £20. Now, you can either keep the £20 or you can gamble it and try and double it to £40 by going for the hat-trick. What should she do, ladies and gentlemen? 
Oh, that's a, that's a quite a risk. What, what no, do you want to do? I'm going to stick, I think. I don't blame yeah. you. I don't blame you. I think it's quite sensible. If you had gone on, Sandy, what would you have gone for? Well, seeing as I'm so bad, it, I would have said cook. <laughs> I have to tell you, you would have got it. Oh. <laughs> but still, you played right. safely and you've got £20, giving you £75. Well done, Sandy. <laughs> Right, so now, David, it's up to you. You're going to try and build up now. You've got £75 to catch up on. You've got Cade, Sold or Barb. Which one would you like? Uh, I'd try Sold. Sold? Yes. Yeah, so I can see why you've gone for that, David. And okay. um, which letter? <laughs> which letter would you like to go change? I think I might go and change the S. Yes, I thought you might. <laughs> okay. Sandy, Harry, you now know what you've got to do. What's he thinking of? Has he got some really weird way out word? Or is he going to go for the obvious ones and try and cheat you out of the £10 that you're trying to snatch? You've got 10 seconds to make your predictions starting now. I see. Confident, Harry? Pretty good. Pretty good. So, Sandy, confident? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know you're going to get it, do you? <laughs> right. They've said that you're going to fall into their trap, huh, uh, David. You think so? Yeah. yeah. All right, mate. For £10, <laughs> dodge the trap and come up with a new word by changing the S. Right. No, just tell us. Ah, sorry. Uh, change the S to an F, making fold, F-O-L-D. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who did it? <laughs> Harry, and you were so friendly before the show. We were. <laughs> that means that Harry gets £10. Well done, Harry. <laughs> Did you, did you have any other words, David? I went through quite a few, but I was going to take a gamble on some unusual ones, like uh, M-O-L-D, mould. You would that have, be you? Yeah, you could have had that. Oh, now you're telling me. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I have to tell you, Sandy was playing for gold. Was she? Uh. G-O-L-D. So, <laughs> never mind, but you've still got £45, and Harry's now increased his lead, and he gets the chance to make it even more money. Harry, you've got two words. You've got Cade and Barb. Now, which would you like? Would you like... You're trying to find which of those two words will give you the most options and which letter you can change that will give you the most words. Which, which word would you like? I'll take Barb. Barb. B-A-R-B. Mm, that's interesting. I think I would have probably gone for Cade, but never mind. You've gone for Barb. Which letter, Harry? Change the B. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Now, perhaps for the rest of the world, uh, you care to tell us which particular B? Sorry. <laughs> B, B on the end. The last B. Yeah. Right, the second B. Right, Sandy and David. Now, especially you, David. Chance for you. sweet revenge here, mate. He nicks your money straight off. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do it in one. And you can actually increase your lead, Sandy, by predicting what word Harry's going to come up with when he changes that B. Hmm. You've got ten seconds, starting now. <laughs> Now, this is interesting. Sandy and David have got their words out, and they're really after you, mate. They're after you. I know, I know. I mean, you still like them? I like Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> so does David. <laughs> All right, Harry, you know what you've got to do. You've got to try and weave your way out of this one. By changing the B, come up with a new word, please, Harry. Bard, B-A-R-D. And he's done it. Well done. <laughs> You know what a bard is, Harry? Well, well, you know, the bard at Stratford, Shakespeare. Exactly. It's a, it's a Celtic word for a poet. It's a Celtic poet, a bard. I didn't know that. Oh, well, you do now. Thank you. And you've got ten pounds. But you're going to keep it, or are you going to risk it by doubling it up to twenty? What should you do, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Harry? I'm sticking. <laughs> After all that? I'm sticking. I mean, poor little Sandy wants some money. Little David needs some money for his little baby. And you're sticking. Is it too late to change? No, no, no. I mustn't force <laughs> it. No, no, no. I, if you had gone on, Harry, what would you have gone for? Bark. You could have had bark. Anything else? Sorry. You could have had bear. Barn. Well, no, barn would have trapped you because both Sandy and David had barn. Mm -hmm. However, you played safe mm -hmm. and it's given you a respectable £35, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well done, Harry. Well, let's have a look at the score. Well, with £35 in third place is Harry. 
Uh, in second place on £45 is David St. John, but out in the lead with a really high score, £75, Sandy Moon. <laughs> well, we're going to come back in part two and see which one of our three contestants is going to go through to our fabulous Super Chain round and the chance to win that £1,000, and it could be any one of the three. Join us. <laughs> Everyone knows these men have to look clean and play dirty. So we ask them to put their whites through the roughest, toughest test. Stains which were ground in, crushed in, soaked in, and then on a two-hour march, dried in. These impossible stains were put into combat against Ariel, and a new powder, new Ariel, now with improved cleaning power. Look close up at these fibers. Even biological aerial can't cope with this soaked-in stain. But new aerial, even at low temperatures, removes the ground-in dirt. A very important person came the next day and passed every uniform washed in new aerial with flying colors. Because even after the toughest stain test, new aerial got the clothes not just nearly clean, but really clean. When you get a <coughs> chesty cough, you know what the last word is. Activate. You were nobbled by McVitie's digestive. You were nobbled by McVitie's rich tea. You were nobbled by McVitie's chocolate home wheat. Well, McVitie's obnobs are another classic made with rolled oats, wholemeal and syrup for a home-baked taste that's so scrumptious He's been nobbled. McVitie's obnobs. One nibble, and you're nobbled. The cubs are really enjoying themselves because I've given them a special treat. My tasty golden drummers. Tender turkey shaped into boneless drumsticks, covered in crispy golden Ooh. crumb. Absolutely delicious. Ooh. Fried or grilled. What do you say, boys? <laughs> now that's what I wanted to hear. And so will you when you give your family my golden drummers. Be prepared. Get a pack today. Just 99 pence for six. They're golden value, too. To find out more about the past, discover Discovery. In the first kit, you'll find out what Elizabethan life was really like. We'll have to cut it off. It'll really hurt. Starting with Queen Elizabeth I, Discovery centers on a famous character and deals with important events of the time, like the Armada with a special pack containing maps, models, and realistic documents. Discovery really brings the past to life. Discovery. History at your fingertips. Chain, 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 chain. Hi, welcome back to Chain Letters. Wordsworth, please, a five-letter word. S-H-O-C-K, shock. And now shock us by giving us a plus, and now a minus, and now go off on a journey. And away he goes. Now, when Wordsworth lands on a letter, we want you to change that letter and make a new word. But if he lands on a plus, we want you to add a letter. If he lands on a minus, we want you to lose a letter, each time making a new word. And Wordsworth will tell you how much that word is worth, either £10, £20, £40, or... Tie the leader, which is good news for you, Harry. On £35, you press the button on Tie the Leader, give us the right answer. You will join Sandy on £75. So there's all to play for. Good luck to you as well, David. We know we're going to start with the word shock. Wait for the cues. Are you ready? Soup a gunsmith for £20. David. Uh, change the H to a T, making stock. S T O C K. How fast can you be? Well done, David. What? <laughs> Brilliant. I was going to say super gunsmith, mates. Well done. Are you ready? A garment that's quite a hit for £40, Sandy. No, sorry. You've lost it. I can hand that over. Are you ready? I repeat. F to tie the leader, David. Uh, take the T away to make it sock. S-O-C-K. That's it. A garment that's quite a hit. Sock. Well done. You've joined up level. You ready? It gets picked on by criminals. It gets picked on by criminals for 40 pounds. David? Uh, change the uh, S to a P, POC. P-O-C-K. It is not 
pop. You're incorrect. That means I can hand it over to Harry and Sandy. I repeat the question. It gets picked on by criminals. For £20, Harry. Lock. Just take out the S, add an L, make it lock. Spell it. L-O-C-K. Absolutely right. Well done. Harry's back in the game. Are you ready? A building veto. A building for £10, Sandy. Add a B, B L O C K block. Block, a veto to block. Well done, Sandy. <laughs> a sheepish, a sheepish member of the family. For ten pounds, David. Uh, o to an A, make him black. B L A C K. Quite right. Well done, David. Black sheep of the family. <laughs> Keep it straight, and you won't strain it. For forty pounds, Sandy. Take the L away, B A C K back. That's it, keep your back straight and you won't say it. Straighten it. Well done, Sandy. People go to any lengths on it. For £40, Sandy. Change the B to an R, R A C K, rack. Very fast. Well done, Sandy. Rack. Go to any lengths on it. It'll make its mark on the countryside. It will make its mark on the. For £10, David? Add a T, making track, T-R-A-C-K. The track, countryside track. Well done, David. Don't worry, Harry, you can still do it. Are you ready? Fooling people who believe in magic. For 40 pounds, David. Change the A to an I, making trick, T-R-I-C-K. Quite right. Well done, David. And let's have a look at the score here. Out in front on 165, we got Sa Sandy. 135 to David on 55, Harry. But you can still do it, Harry. Are you ready? The sound of an insect for £20. David. Take the R away, make him tick, T-I-C-K. He's quite right. Tick. Sound of an insect. Well done. <laughs> a word with a painful twist to it. For £40, Harry. Take away the T, add an L, make it sorry. Um... I'm sorry, Harry. I'm going to have to cut you off there. That means I can hand it over to the other two when you're ready. To protect your lead, Sandy. Change a T to an R, R I C K, Rick. Uh, absolutely right. I'm sorry, Harry, but I have to do that. Well done, Sandy. That means you protect your lead. Fingers on buzzers. What links Blackpool and Jab for ten pounds, David? Change the O to I to an L, make them rock. R O C K. That's I was going to say. Blackpool and Gibraltar, the rock. And look at that, both on level. 165 each. This is very close. It's probably the first car you owned for ten pounds, David. Add a C making croc, C R O C K. Oh, fond memories there, David. Well done, croc, an old croc of a car. <laughs> a sound gap for £10, David. Change the O to uh, an I, crick. That is incorrect, which means I can offer it to San Sandy for £10. Change the O to an A, C R A C, crack. Crack. A sound gap, a gap, a crack, David. <laughs> well done, Sandy. It's neck and neck. A word that's handed to clumsy people. For forty pounds, David. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there. And that's the last question. That now means we're on a tiebreaker. Right. That means I'm going to ask Wordsworth in just a second to go to the next word. I'm then going to read you a clue. And the first of the buzzer. If you're right, you go through. If you're wrong. You're out. Are you ready? We're starting with the word cack. The clue, this is only for Sandy and David. The clue is a pirate with a chest like a barrel. David. Change the C to an S, making cask. You're into the super chain. Well done, David. Well, Harry, I mean, you played a great game. You smiled throughout. Terrific stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, 55 pounds, Harry Stanley. Sandy picked at the very last moment. Did you enjoy yourself? Loved it, every minute. You've been a marvellous contestant. Sandy Moon, £175. Pounds. <laughs> but also on £175, pounds, but the man who uh, got that final question right, David, who now goes on to try for the £1,000. David St John. <laughs> Right, now, David's going to go through the super chain where every word is worth £50. If he can do 10 in 60 seconds, it's worth a 1000 Good luck to you, David. Turn around. Wordsworth, the word. 
The word is fish, F-I-S-H. Remember, you can say pass. You've got 60 seconds. Wait for Wordsworth to, to land. Wordsworth, go. Change the F to a D making dish, D-I-S-H. Change the I to an A making dash, D-A-S-H. Change the S to a... Uh, a T, daft, D-A-T-H. Worth a guess. Change the H to a... Uh, e, dace, D-A-S-E. Change the D to an L, making lash, L-A-S-H. Change the A to a uh, U, lush, L-U-S-H. Change the S to a T, luff, L-U-T-H. Change the H to a T, lust, L-U-S-T. Change the L to must, M-U-S-T. Change the U to O, most, M-O-S-T. Change the S to a A, moat, M-O-A-T. Change the T to an N, moan, M-O-A-N. Done right there, you got nine right. Terrific oh. stuff. Give a round of applause. Well done, you got nine right. That's 450 pounds, David. Plus 175 pounds gives you 625 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, well done. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's programme, join us today for another edition of Chain Letters. Goodbye. <laughs>